All right, coming in at number seven is James Conner. I'm very excited for James Conner this year. And I'm just hoping that he could stay healthy given the workload that I think he's going to get without Chase Evans there. And he's a value right now. I have him here at number seven and he's going off the board as the RB15 on underdog. Chase Evans is gone and Conner just got paid. Get that bag! Get that bag! You look at the depth chart, no more competition for touches. And we got a taste of that last year. Edmonds missed six games, so we do have a sample. There was a five-week stretch where Edmonds missed, and Connor was the RB2 during that span. And then when Edmonds missed week 18 later on, Connor was the overall RB1 that week. And even with Edmonds playing in 12 games last year, Connor still ended up being the overall RB5. 21.6 touches per game when Edmonds missed, very involved in the passing game, and very efficient. There were 35 running backs last year who had 40 or more targets. And Connor was seventh in yards per route run, third in yards per reception, and first in catch percentage. The goal line role was his all year long, and he was only behind Jonathan Taylor in rushing attempts inside the five yard line. I'm personally aiming for Connor in the third round of every draft that I do. All right, guys, those are my top 10 fantasy running backs. If you want to see the rest of my rankings, go check out my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you guys, as always. Really appreciate you. See you later.